Uh, I'm thrilled today to introduce a longtime friend of mine, Mary Dillon, who is the CEO of Ulta, which is a great Chicagoland company. Yep. Um, we learned today, today she came to our eight o'clock meeting and talked about Ulta and what they do and, and truly inspired the whole group telling you a little bit about your career. Mary, I've known you for 20 years and we've raised our families. They're kind of the kids the same age. Um, always admired your leadership style. How, how would you, how have you gone about developing your leadership style and, mm -hmm. and uh, which has been so successful and has had great results at yeah. Ulta? Well, um, it's, it's, I've been at it for a while, so I think I've kind of learned about where I was most effective. Just a couple of tenets. One is um, I try to really be somebody who puts our guest or consumer at the center of everything we do, and also, in our case, our associates, the people that serve our guests. So it's a lot of it is about listening, creating a culture where people feel like they can be heard, frankly. I mean, nothing happens if it doesn't happen in our stores, right? So I spend a lot of time out in the field learning from people. What's working, what's not, how can we make it better? Because I pull on the fact that I had those jobs when I was a younger person, you know? So it's about listening to our frontline associates and guests. The other thing I would say is that I'm really a big believer in collaboration. And not collaboration just because we want to make nice, but truly believe that the power of our solutions are better if my leadership team, for example, works out of their functional silos across that and figures out what's the best answer for the company. So that's the way I work. I'm not command and control. I can be when I need to be, but I mostly want to bring smart people together to get the best solutions. So as we talked a little earlier, your leadership style is, is really understanding what you do and then perhaps surrounding yourself yeah. with people that and, and finding those people and attracting them to keeping them is, is yeah. a challenge, but, but finding w what you do to, to give them the chance to do yeah. what they do. And best, I think right? that might be what I'm best at, is identifying talent and recruiting great people and creating an environment where they can be their best. So, you know, I'm humble enough to know I don't have the answer to everything. I'm not an expert in supply chain. I'm not an expert in running a store. I don't need to be. I need to have those people work for me, but also believe in the power of collaborating with each other. We talked, we had a, a speaker this, this week uh, who runs the Center for Leadership at Northwestern, mm -hmm. and he came and talked about that exact thing. Is, is doing, finding what your strengths are, playing yeah. to your strengths, mm -hmm. and then fill in the gaps in, in your career. Uh, Mary, you've had an amazing, I, I always feel you've got a great attitude. What, what, is your, what is an attitude, a positive attitude meant to in your career, and, and how do you try to permeate that? Yeah. Is that something you do That's intentionally? That's a great question. Well, it's nice that you noticed that. Um, I think I'm just generally a glass half full kind of person, and I pretty much at this stage of the game do not allow negativity. <laughs> I mean, we certainly have challenges, and we can challenge each other, but if somebody generally has a negative outlook, it's sort of not that helpful and constructive. So it's just how I'm wired. I want to have, you know, you spend so much time at work. I want to be with people that share my values, want to have fun, you know, respect each other. And, you know, it's not like happiness every day, but certainly generally having a positive outlook with a good, healthy balance of skepticism. The world's going right. to change. You know, we're not la-di-da. But, you know, I don't know, to me, that's, that I can't, you know, think of running a business any other way. And, and there are so many challenges that you encounter mm -hmm. every day, every week, every month. And if you're not, if you don't have the mindset that you can, you can take overcome this on those. and overcome yeah, and that, right. that, that those obstacles are just the next challenge. Yeah. You know, that's, that's great. But um, yeah, that's right. Th thank you for making Absolutely. the time yeah. to come to Acquire today. Everybody was, was inspired. She was spent mm -hmm. probably 30 minutes with uh, all the women in the company who, uh, um, you know, were inspired by your story and mm -hmm. had a great Q&A. We so ran out of time. We ran out of time. Yes. Thanks, for, uh, th thanks for your leadership at Ulta. Thanks for your leadership in the city of Chicago and, um, and for everything you do, even in the great city of Evanston. Here so we are. Thanks, and uh, uh, thanks for coming to Acquire America. Absolutely. Thanks, Joe.